We gotta hurry up and shoot this intro because I am cooking in the truck. No! <laughs> we gotta try that again. What is going on, YouTube fam? Welcome back to another high adventure video. Final meal. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? We have a chili dog. Mm mm mm. Mm. So I stopped by a local tackle shop when I got down here to the coast and there's like this little dive restaurant and there were, there was packed with people, tons of people out. So I thought, well, I gotta go give it a try. So we got chili dog. Like their main thing was like hot dogs. So I thought, what the heck? I haven't had a good hot dog in forever. What are the odds that we're gonna regret this decision here in about an hour or so? Excuse us while we finish our final meal for the next 24 hours, yeah. Mm. All right. Chili dog has been consumed. Irritable bowel syndrome is setting in fast. Let's go ahead and get this challenge underway. All right, we have reached our private pier. Oh, okay. All right. At our private here that hmm isn't looking so private i see about uh maybe 15 people down there in order to access this pier you have to stay at the resort behind me and so that's what we're doing for the next two days we are fishing off this pier and eating only what we can catch right from this pier we are armed with the beach cart full of provisions well, I mean, fishing provisions. I, I've got water. I could drink water and have drinks and stuff like that, but I can't, you know, eat food like another chili dog, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna want another chili dog, actually, to be very honest with you. You can see, wow, a lot of people out for middle of the week, but it is low tide here at the beach. When it's low tide like this, it means that uh, not a whole lot of area to fish on the pier. So we're all gonna kind of be stacked up at the end but we'll just kind of have to jockey for a spot i guess this looks like a good spot right here pull the cart off to the side there all right let me show you guys the bait we got for the next couple of days i have oh, a bunch of fiddler crabs that we caught we'll probably start with those actually if i can keep them in the bucket and then over here I have some fresh mullet caught yesterday and I've got some blue crab that we might cut up and throw out as well. Come here little guy. One of you? Anybody? Ah, there's one. Right there. there we go. All right. We're just going to drop this guy straight down. Let's pick a piling. What about this one right here? This looks good. Go straight down with it. It ain't deep at all right there all right make sure our drag is set somewhat loose but not too loose want that line tight so that fiddler crab stays up off the bottom about 18 inches and now we wait all right no bites on the fiddler crab yet we are going to open up this blue crab i'm gonna get a second rod out with some blue crab on it here double our efforts there we go. That right there, a big chunk of meat. It's pretty good. Try to hook it through, hook it through the uh, shell as best you can. There you go. Big chunk. I'm gonna just drop this right down here, actually. Let's just go right here. Literally straight down. Got a rod holder. There you go. All right, got that crab set. Come back over here. We're going to keep working this filler crab around the piling, staying pretty close by, watching our other bit of crab. All right, y'all, nothing yet. Been here for about an hour, but we have somebody hooked up at the top here. I'm not sure what it is. It's the first hookup I've seen since I've been here, which doesn't bode well for eating only what we can catch. Oh, big bull red. See it way out there. 
Guys, that's a big one. He's gonna haul it aboard here. So I'm gonna drop a net down, try to get him. That is a big old fish. There she Oh, almost, almost. There it is. There it is. Alright. Look at this fish right here, y'all. Look at this fish. Good lord have mercy. There you go. Just right. 42. Let go of the. Yeah, straighten him up. There you go. 42. 42. Right. Wow. Oh, look at that fish. There she goes. That was a graceful landing. So here in South Carolina, the redfish have to be in a slot size. It's like 15 to 23 inches. So that's a bull red. A lot of people are after those, but you have to throw them back. All right, so since the bite's been a little bit slow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually switch to a bit of shrimp here. And we're just gonna throw this out in the surf. Usually you can find quite a bit of whiting uh, in the surf and they're really good eating if you can get a decent size. So we need some food. I'm going for anything right now. Plus, make make good bait as well so kind of a double whammy come on go get me a whiting right there got him there he is ha just popped it assuming this is our whiting yep yep nice whiting nice whiting there we go it's not a lot but it could be bait for later and there's a little bit of food on that. Let's go. That's like a snack size fish right there. But it's at least it's something. It's a start. Let's build on that. Get another piece of shrimp here. It's like that's a little piece. Throwing it out. Might have to catch like half a dozen of those. What you can do though is you can also use the heads for bait, which we'll probably do later. Back out there. Might be a little bit nicer one here. Yeah, it's a good eating sized one. Yeah, that's a little bit better. A little bit better. It's 10, 11 inches. Come on. Come on. Get a little bigger now. Get this hook out. No. Oh, hold up. Don't go over the. I've got a measuring tape on my cart. If I can just get a hold of this guy. Good. Great. Come here. Yeah, that's 10, 10 inch, 10 inch whiting. We've got a few good ones now. I got this guy here just a minute ago. So we're getting a few solid fish. Ah, it's my hat, it's my hat all greasy. A few fish, but like I said, that'll free up uh, one of those smaller ones to be used as a whole piece of bait. See if we can get one more good sized one here. All right, y'all. Here are four of our bigger-ish whiting. I'm gonna go ahead and get these cleaned up. A lot of people starting to vacate the pier at supper time. I'm tempted to cook them whole, except I kind of want to keep the heads, I think, for bait. Let's see if we can use that to catch something bigger. All right. Last one here. Looks pretty good. This is what we got. Got four nice pieces of whiting. Look, hey, you know, it's better than nothing. Better than nothing, and hopefully, We'll turn some of those other smaller whiting into some bigger fish here in just a bit. But that's not bad. I'll take it for a tough day. Set them off to the side here. Let's get this cleaned up. All right, y'all. Sun's starting to set. And the breeze has actually picked up a little bit. We're right at high tide. We're going to go ahead, bring these four whiting back. I actually have not seen my digs at the, uh, at the uh, condos here. So we're going to go kind of check in, get settled in cook up some dinner and then hopefully if the wind calms down a little bit i think we'll probably come back out tonight see if we can get some shark or something like that talking with a few of the fishermen on the pier they said the last couple of days have been tough but i saw some people catch some fish today so hopefully it's starting to pick up tomorrow's supposed to be even nicer than today so hopefully it'll be on the up and up and uh tomorrow we'll actually get out here first thing in the morning instead of getting here you know started at two o'clock in the afternoon There. This is ours. Hello, 
Mike. Hey, Mike. Uh, this is Mike. Uh, I'm supposed to be staying at 130B, and uh, my key code is not working. Oh, really? Um, okay. Um, let's see. I'll give you mine right now. Uh, the daily code gets you in real quick. Oh, cool. All right. We're in. Uh, the key code that they gave me was not working, but here we go. Let's check out the digs. Oh my, looking good. This is a shelf. You can't sleep up there, ladies and gentlemen. But you can't sleep down here. That's pretty sweet. This is my suite. Oh my goodness. Oh. This is the kind of plasma I've always wanted in my bedroom. I think this evening we're just gonna stand here. I'm gonna watch some TV in the bedroom. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, bed. Oh man, that's like memory foam. Shoot, that's like one of the nicest beds. Nicest feeling beds that I've had in a place. Bathroom. Looks adequate. Who we got? Ah. This is nice. Oh, oh, oh. What the? Who puts who puts the the garbage disposal thing all the way over there on that wall? What the heck? Well, I'm guessing this is the light. Hey, now we're good. Awesome, awesome. Everything you'd want, just fishing and hanging out at the coast by yourself. We're gonna go ahead, get all our stuff brought in. Now let's cook up some supper. Actually, we're gonna first test out the seat right here. Oh, oh, ah, uh, this is luxury. This is real luxury. I might sleep in this chair tonight. Holy monkeys. Let's see, does the, does the thing flip out? Is there anything over here? No. What's that? Please tell me there's one over here. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, wait hold up, hold up. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, this is nice. This is real nice. Can't sit here forever though. Let's go get some food because I'm actually quite starving. We haven't eaten since that chili dog, which was at about two o'clock this afternoon. Here we are. Let's see if we can find a pan. Any pans down here? Oh. Oh, cheapers. Is that necessary? A skillet. A little skillet. Yeah, looks good. Take a bowl as well. Set that there. I brought with me some canola oil. Pour some oil in here. I think we're gonna start by frying these whiting up, or at least a couple of them up. I've got some Louisiana Cajun fish fry. I'm dumping this bowl here. There we go. Set them in there. Ah, I'm just glad we got some fish. When we first pulled up, uh, I talked with a fisherman. He's like, I haven't caught anything for two days. And I was like, don't tell me that. So I'm glad we got at least some whiting here. It definitely did seem to be picking up today, though. Like, I saw somebody catch a, I saw a black drum caught. Saw that 42-inch redfish. Um, big old stingray was caught. And then I also saw somebody pulled up a really nice um, uh, sheep's head. And then an undersized sheep's head. So hopefully the bite's starting to turn on. You know, that would be much needed or else we're going to be living off of whiting for the next two days yeah we good we good oh, oh good heavens I accidentally put some too much uh, breading on the inside there Woo! looks like dinner We're setting off the fire alarm here because of the frying. <coughs> A little smoky in here, but we've got three delicious smelling and looking fish. Extra delicious looking because we haven't eaten anything since two o'clock and it is 7.15 now. <sighs> it's not much, but it's honest. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this wonderful day. Thank you for the food that you provided us with. I pray you bless it to my body now. Lord, I just pray you continue to keep 
Stephanie and the kids and safety back at home. Bring us back together safely, Lord, at the end of this trip. And we just thank you so much for this life that we live. Through Jesus we pray. Amen. <sighs> All right. Here we go. Fried whiting. Kind of almost just tempted to, like, eat it. Like chicken. Big old chunk of meat just fell out. Look at that. Ooh, ooh that's hot. Mm. You know, when you're surf fishing like this off a pier, or a, a pier in the surf, it's such a mixed bag. You, you just don't know um, what to expect because, like, water clarity pay, plays a major role in the fishing. And the water isn't dirty, but, well, it doesn't get that clean here in South Carolina anyway. But at least it's not like chocolate milk. When it's like chocolate milk, fishing's like dead. What we're going to do is I have one more whiting that I didn't cook up. I think we're going to save that for breakfast just in case we can't get anything tonight. I'm still hoping it'll calm down a little bit, but I think either way we got to go out and at least try for a couple hours, see if we can get lucky with a shark or something like that to kind of supplement the food that we have here or the lack thereof. We're surviving. We're surviving. All right, y'all. We are out here. Got a big chunk of cut bait on. I am joined. There are a few other people out here I'm joined by. What's up, guys? What's your guys' names? Bentley. Bentley. Rylan. Rylan. Nice. They're two subscribers I ran into recently. Subscribe, but we're going to try to catch something big. What do you guys think we get tonight? Shark. Shark. Hopefully. All right, shark it is. Let's go get one. All right, there's one set. I'm going to try to get a second one out. It's low tide, almost low tide, but like two hours from low tide, so we'll see. I've got a few other people out here fishing, so. When we first pulled up, somebody had one on and it broke off, so fingers crossed we get something tonight. I need something tonight. I got the end. Yes! That was brutal, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, sir. No problem. Awesome. I'll leave you with it from I there. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I think that's, that's an Atlantic shark. Oh, you got one. Oh, I got another one? Got Holy cow. Yeah. Atlantic sharp nose. That's the one, second one we landed. We got two here. Ah, there we go. Two sharks. About the same size. I'm right, gonna keep this one though. This guy will go back. We'll just toss him. Y'all don't want a shark, do you? No, no, All right. Thank you for your help. I appreciate it. Couldn't have done it without him, guys. There she goes. Gonna get this cleaned up though. That's a nice little Atlantic sharp nose. That'll taste good more food for our challenge yes came out here got what we wanted it's a good fish that's what you want right there perfect i am so pumped look at all that food right there came out conquered did what we set out to do oh it was a super slow start to the day but we're ending it really nicely that's for sure oh, oh. well guys I don't think I've ever eaten shark for breakfast before, but there's a first time for everything. 
I think that's exactly what we're gonna be doing in the morning. Nice to have something for breakfast at least. I actually ended up catching a couple other sharks, but the rules in South Carolina, you can only keep one um, one Atlantic sharp nose per person per day. We could have had like three in the cooler if we could have kept more and that had pretty much gotten us through the rest of the challenge. But at the very least, we've got breakfast and then uh, we'll just wake up in the morning and see about lunch. I'm really hoping that the bite is going to be better in the morning because this afternoon it was pretty slow. So hopefully now that we're actually here, get an early start, things will be a lot better. Uh, speaking of early start, we better get some sleep because we're going to be up early. So I'll catch you guys in the morning with some shark and coffee. I don't know if I'm looking forward to that actually. <laughs> Ugh, top of the morning, y'all. So typically on these challenges, I don't let myself have like any uh, like pop or coffee, but I figured, you know, I'm due. I'm due. I have done every single Eat Only What I Catch challenge without having coffee. This time, I'm gonna let myself have a little coffee. Mm. Have a little fresh shark in the morning. Nothing says good morning America like some fresh fried shark. Just had a mosquito. Look at that. Dude just straight up took a nose dive and died in my coffee. I don't think that's a good omen for the day. Or maybe it's really good. I don't know. I'm gonna say it's probably not good. Where's my spoon? Way to go, you loser. I gotta fish him out. At least he wasn't full. Ugh. Well, here we go. I'm not sure which gut bomb is going to be worse, having fried shark and coffee in the morning or that chili dog yesterday. Hmm. I'm making some really poor life decisions, I feel like. Maybe I need to get into a different genre of YouTube. I mean, it tastes fine, but there are a lot of other meats that I like in the morning that I prefer over shark. Oh, I need another cup of coffee. Man, absolutely gorgeous morning out here. Few things are more invigorating than a new day of fishing because you just don't ever know what might happen today. We might hook a bull red. We might catch the biggest sheep's head of our life. You just don't know. That's why you gotta get out here. You know, you gotta get out here and just do it. I love this sport, man. I love it. Check out this crab I caught. Quite a bit bigger. So we're gonna have a little bit bigger hook. We're gonna drop this guy right below the pier, see if anything eats this. So I was just talking to some of the fishermen and one of the kids already caught a 43 inch redfish this morning. Um, and I feel like today, like I know I can catch whiting. Like those are pretty much automatic. So we're gonna work hard to like fish around the pier today. See if we can catch us like a black drum, red drum, sheep's head, something like that. There you go. Drop that down below. See if anything hammers this. Got a little fiddler crab on this one. 
we're gonna try dropping him right over here spread out a little bit you're allowed two poles per person on this pier not everybody really follows that they're more like guidelines <laughs> if you will we try to stick to it make sure everybody's got enough space and room the first thing i'm noticing is the water definitely looks a little clearer today which is what i was hoping for kind of hoping i can see some sheep's head around some of these pilings and maybe we can do a little sight fishing for them with these fiddler crabs but we'll see let's check this crab here dude my crab is gone crab is gone dang let's get a fresh piece of mullet out you drop it below see if anything wants this the mullet's not gonna get like a sheep's head but it could get us like maybe a black drum red drum or even like a, a trout i saw somebody catch about a 14 inch trout yesterday so always a chance of something like that oh there's a bite right there don't know what it is i switched to shrimp on this one. Oh yeah there's a hit come on oh got it what is it that's a pinfish what oh this there oh thanks hold up wait a minute oh yeah we got him got him right here holy cow when it rains it pours oh no i'm on the what's that i i think he went under the pile and yeah Come on, baby. Ah, oh, just. Ah, oh, he bit through the line. That was a good bite. Dang it. What do we get here? We got a little pinfish. Not what we're after. I'll throw him on ice, though. That's a pretty fish, though. That's cool. Got him. Got him. There he is. Oh, we got a little black drum. Check this out. <laughs> no. That's a little undersized. What's that? Black drum. A little black drum, yep. yeah. Yeah, he, he might might be undersized, just a hair. Yeah, just a hair. <laughs> what do you guys think? These are good eating if you can get them. I think it's 14. I think that'll be 14 inches. I have to double check the rags on that, but that guy's definitely too short. Pretty cool though, huh? Yeah. That's sweet. Here he goes. Yeah. Graceful. Oh, look at that. that was perfect. Perfect that was execution. Well all right, all right. Yeah, he Fish are getting a little bigger now. Come on. We got this. There he is. Got him. Got him. It's another drum. What? Another short drum. Dang. I mean, it's a cool catch. Don't get me wrong. But you can't eat it. It's too short. Y'all, the tide's going out, and I noticed something. The waves are breaking right out there, so there must be a little sandbar. Then it dips right out in front here. So instead of, I can't fish out the front because obviously there are a ton of people up there. So I came and started fishing this little ditch, which isn't much. It, I'll bet you it's only maybe eight inches, 12 inches deeper than over there, but it's just enough. And those fish will hang right in this trough and they'll start to concentrate. I've been getting hit, caught this little guy, and then we missed that, uh, missed that sheep's head earlier as well so hopefully we'll just keep hanging out in here and hopefully all these fish are just kind of congregated up in here we'll get something a decent size at some point hopefully got one oh geez it's a red it's a red oh that might be in the slot i don't have i don't oh my gosh that's a red fish dude that's a good red fish that might be in the slot i'm gonna see if one of these guys over here i can use their their uh their deal their net can i can i borrow your net i appreciate it this is my supper for the day if i can get there it in do. oh sorry didn't mean to get... there yeah. she blows uh oh caught on the pier oh sorry there we go hey thank you appreciate it we'll see if it's Oh, that's that, that looked a lot bigger way down there. <laughs> hey, you may be close. It'll be you close. Let's close. see. There. Sweet. There Thank you. you. 
<laughs> Moment of truth. No. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's 13 and a half. Dang it. Too small. That was close. His lucky day. I know it is his lucky day. <laughs> not not so much for me. I appreciate the help. Thank you. I can't believe it. There goes dinner. Ah, oh, shoot. Ooh, what's this? This feels better. I haven't seen it yet. Ooh, it's a it's a black drum. And it's bigger. I don't know if it's 15 inches, but we might borrow a net again. Can I borrow that net again by chance? Thank you, sir. Black drum. It's gotta be 14, right? I believe it's 14. It's gonna be close. Of course, I thought the red the redfish last time was. 14 for the black. That's what I thought. Dinner was within reach. I feel it. Oh boy. Thank you, sir. Line him up. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it looks a lot bigger all the way down there. It'll be close. I don't think so. I think it's going to be another 13 inch or. Good grief. <laughs> all the way down there. Thank you. Ouch. Man, y'all, all the way down there. That fish looked a lot bigger. Looked a lot bigger. I'd have put money on that was a keeper. Yeah, that's gonna be another 13. Man, that's brutal. <laughs> you're, get, you're almost there, right? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm working my way out there. I've just had to go through about 15 fish. Get out of here. Shoot. Got him, got him. It's another solid fish. Whatever it is, he's far under there. I can't see. Oh, that's another red, dude. Ugh. I can't tell if that's big enough. I think we're just going to try to haul him up. Last time I thought it was big enough. Whoa! <laughs> he wasn't. How about that swing? Dudes, that actually might be close. Let's see. It's so hard catching all this food and not being able to eat it because it's all short. Yeah, that's another 13 incher. Golly. Two inches short yet again. That's called dinner. That has to go back. I can't do this much longer, y'all. I just can't. There's a bite. Got him. This is a better fish. Definitely. Come on, come on, come on. Stay away from that piling. Stay away from that piling. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a, that's a big black drum. Oh my gosh, it just wrapped around. She just wrapped around. I needed to swim back this way. Oh, please. No, oh, please. What am I hooked on? Am I out? No, I'm not out yet. What am I on? There we go, there we go. No, 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 no. Come on. Back around, back around. This is terrible. This is bloody awful. Yeah, 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 that way, that way, that way, that way. Yes, there we go, there we go. All right, that might be a keeper right there. We'll ask for the net. Come on. Oh, thank you, sir. That one looks a little bigger, doesn't it? It fought a little better, that's for sure. you're gonna eat that one. I hope so. Come on, baby. Oh, my word. She was wrapped around the piling, too. Oh, <laughs> Woo. Congrats. Congrats. thank you. I'm not going to breathe a sigh of relief till I measure it up here. <sighs> thank you, sir. Oh, guys, look at that fish. Oh, my gosh. She got wrapped around the piling. Fortunately, oh, I could see the fray on my mono. Fortunately, I had mono. If I'd have had braid, that would have been Dunyans. Would have been Dunyans. Oh, dude, yeah, that's 14. That's a 14 incher. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, we did it. We did it. Oh, it just took all afternoon and like a dozen black drum. But we caught a keeper. 
I'm shaking right now, probably because I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. There you go. Beautiful black drum. It just took us, uh, uh, y'all, I kid you not, we probably caught 12, 12 small black drum, maybe 13 or 14. I, I stopped counting after like nine. I feel like we've met this challenge now. Now that we got this nice size black drum under the pier. Oh, I tell you what, it's been hurting. It's been hurting throwing all these fish back that are 13, 13 and a half inches long. We finally got a keeper. Yes, let's go. I don't know if my GoPro can pick this up, but can you guys see? Let me hold it up to my face so you can see the back. See the fray on that mono? Right there. Right there. I can feel this whole thing is just sprayed. Dude, I, I just, I was just like, I was just waiting for it to pop. But then I thought if it can swim around, fortunately she didn't, she didn't like fight a whole lot. Like when she first hit it, it was bam. But when she got hung up, she kind of just sat there. So I was just waiting for it to swim back around. And she kept like, like here was the post and my line went this way and she was wrapped this way. She kept trying to swim this way. Finally, like a wave pushed her back and then she swam back through the way I needed it. But man. I don't know how much more that was gonna take. Oh, so lucky, but we did it. We did it. I think it's time to clean some fish, eat, and finish this challenge off here, y'all. Let's go. There we go. Check that out right there. Two beautiful black drum fillets. Oh man, I can already taste that. What we're gonna do is actually, I'm gonna save this head for some shark fishing later, I think. There we go. So, the lady over here at the front, apparently, I just heard she's got a big red on. Let's go check this out. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Look at that right there. You got a nice hook set right in the corner. Right in the corner of the mouth. Holy moly. Oh, it's harder than it looks. <laughs> That's a nice one. Good job. <laughs> well done. That's awesome. Look at this fish out here, y'all. Good Lord of mercy. Oh, I'm back up here. Oh, Holy Oh, did it get you? Yeah, I probably can't hold it. There yeah, you can. There you can. You got it. There you go. There you go. Now you're cooking. Now you're cooking. Okay, so you hid. Look at that. All right, so I stole the pan from the room. We'll put it back, probably. But my pan was uh, not in all of my stuff, which is surprising because, as you can see, we brought the kitchen with us, minus the skillet, apparently, but no matter. All right, up until about two hours ago, I thought this was going to be our final meal. However, right at the final bell, we got us a couple of nice black drum fillets. Look at that. Oh, it's going to be delicious. Let's prep these up here. I see it is currently four o'clock and I haven't eaten since what? When do we get up? Six o'clock this morning. We ate about 6.30. So uh, I'm too tired to do the math. Anyway, it has been a long time since we've had some food, but we've passed the 24 hour mark of the challenge. Uh, we're just getting in bonus time at, pretty much at this point. We're just showing dominance is really what we're doing. Just proving that we can go above and beyond here at High Adventure Videos. Start by putting a little oil in the cast iron. Not a whole lot, don't need a lot. Perfect. Oh yeah, you know, we should turn this on. Fire it up, is that gonna turn on? There she goes. We are going to rummage through our bin of seasonings here. Oh my, look what we got. We've got some Key West Spice Company. Hmm, you know what's a contender? We'll set them right there. What else we got? Frag out. No. No. Actually, that's some salt and pepper. We'll take that. What else? Tabasco? Nah. Good. What's this? Ooh, slap your mom. Ooh, it's been a minute since I've had slap your mama seasoning. That's a contender. Decisions, decisions. Ooh, Cajun seasoning slap your mama? What? This Cajun slap your mama. That sounds really good, actually. Let's do one filet with that. And you know what, let's do this Key West. Southernmost blend. Got that down when I was in Florida last month with Bobby. Let's do those two. With, of course, salt and pepper. Oh, a little of that on there. If I'm not mistaken, this kind of has a smoky 
flavor to it. So I'm gonna do that. Then we'll do our slap your mamas on this one. If I remember correctly, a little bit of this goes a long way, so we won't do too much. That's feeling good and hot. Set our fish right there. Can I grab that? Yep, just barely. Just got that. And these fillets, you know, that's not super thick. So that's not gonna take long to cook. Uh, which is good news for us since we haven't eaten since this morning. Here we go. These look like they are done. Let's see what the other side looks like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Set that right there. This guy's kind of coming apart a little bit. I'll just take them off in pieces. Ah. Oh, excuse me. Let's say a prayer here. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the last couple of days, Lord God, and just the fun we had out on the pier, enjoying your creation, the beauty of your sunrises, and we just pray that you bless this food to our body now. Thank you for this life that we live, and through Jesus we pray. Amen. Oh, there you go. Look at that. That is a welcome sight. We're not going to say a whole lot. We're just going to dive right in. This is that smoky uh, Florida seasoning. Mmm, that's good. It's got kind of like a heavy flavor to it. It's the best way I describe it. Like a smoky, heavy, uh, not spicy. It's delicious. Oh, dude, that black drum is really good. That is a delicious fish. Of course, most all ocean fish are delicious in my opinion, but my black drum just, black drum just hits different. I love the taste of that Slap Your Mama seasoning. It's just like, it's spicy, but the flavor of it, dang, that's so good. I haven't done a lot of pure fishing since I moved to the south, um, but it's a challenge. It's a challenge just because every day is different. The water was way clearer today. It was way calmer, but now we got rain moving in, and you just don't ever know what the conditions on the coast could be like. It, it changes so much day to day. I have with me a celebratory Pepsi since we beat the 24-hour challenge. Y'all, I have had a blast down here the last couple of days. A little ocean fishing. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me the last couple of days on the pier. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I will see you in the next one.